The only thing 13-year-old Logan Holes of Sibley, Iowa likes more than the sound of one of his over 100 vacuum cleaners is the feeling of one in his hands. I feel joy when I vacuum. I always vacuum at least three or four times a day just to get that nice feeling. He gets up in the morning, he cricks the vacuum on, vacuums his bedroom. Then when he comes downstairs, vacuums the living room. And then through my living room, through the dining room, and then my kitchen. And he will come home from school, then vacuum again. It makes me feel kind of annoyed because there's always a vacuum running around the house, and I can't really concentrate on what I want to do. I usually like to go to other places to vacuum. My mom works at the hair salon, so I like to go there. He likes to come down here, obviously, and do some vacuuming of the hair. And of course, we need it done daily. And so he will come down and do it daily here. And then when I'm done at my mom's salon, my dad's a fire chief, so I vacuum the fire hall. I like having Logan down here at the fire hall because firemen are the dirtiest guys in the world sometimes, which can't help. And he takes care of it. He's like my maid, if you will. But he makes sure he cleans. I have the cleanest trucks in Northwest Iowa. And if he runs out of trucks to do and the floors to do, you'll be out in the bay sucking up the cracks. And I keep on vacuuming until it's all done. And then I repeat every day. Sibley is a small town. Everyone knows everyone. And they may not know us directly, but they'll be like, hey, your son's the vacuum kid. Next thing you know, we're receiving vacuums from these people that were broken. And uh, most of the people thought it was just to let him play with them and experiment with them and things like that. But now he's repairing them and handing it back to them, saying, here's your vacuum back. And they're going, I just gave it to you to play with. I didn't expect it to return in working condition. I wanted to add to my collection. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Logan. Got a vacuum for you. So I created a business, Logan's Miracle Works Vacuum Cleaner Repairs. Should be. OK, thank yeah, you. Should. Every time I fix a vacuum cleaner, I feel like a detective trying to find out a crime. Some screws for I usually try to dig deep far into the vacuum. If I find something odd looking, I always take that apart and put a new one back in, and then voila. The most important part about fixing a vacuum cleaner is having to test the vacuum cleaner to see if it runs. I use glitter as my test dust because it's one of the hardest substances to vacuum up. Perfect. 